Hey everybody, so let's say you're done with your Orbeez. You've done your experiments, you've done all the cool science you can do with them, and now it is time to, you know, let them go. So, they're a little bit big, and there's something that we can do to make them a little bit smaller. They got big by putting water on the inside, so we can draw that water out by using salt. So that is going to draw water out. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. All we need for this is Orbeez, and salt. Okay, so that's kind of how it works. All we do is we put salt on top of these Orbeez, and what happens is water that's on the inside of the Orbeez moves across the small semi-permeable membrane and goes towards the salt, where there isn't a lot of water. So there's sort of a concentration gradient of water, and that uses osmosis. So through osmotic pressure, we're able to draw water out of these into the salt. And if you let it sit long enough, um, you can actually move a, a good bit of the water out of there and the Orbeez get really small. So I started this you know, a couple of days ago. You might be able to see like all the water that's in there and um, a little closer, all the water that's in there. That was all water that was previously in these Orbeez. So what you saw was a sped up video and now what you're seeing is left. I can kind of see it. Yeah. Some of the Orbeez, but they're pretty hard to see. I can also see... So again, what you're seeing there is osmosis. It's taken a little while for it to get done. And try it yourself. This is the last experiment that you can do with Orbeez. There are probably many more, but this is like the one you would do at the end. Because after this, I don't think you're going to do another one with these Orbeez. So, thanks for watching. Bye.